Hey everyone, this is the requested purple smoky eye look that I did in the best of my favorites from 2010 video. That's how it looks with my eyes closed. So if you want to see how I attempted this look, uh, keep I watched Miss Chivas's video again. I took notes and I will do the best I can, but just remember she is a professional and a true guru and and is amazing and I am just a stay-at-home mom who likes to play with makeup, so keep that in mind. So I've already put on my face makeup and primed my lids with my MAC Paint Pot and I did, I took notes. And then the first thing I'm going to do, because I already did my face makeup, is um, I'm going to powder quite heavily um, under my eyes. I'm just getting the powder out and whoop, and out all over the floor and everywhere. And I'm just going to take, um, this is one of the first makeup brushes I ever got. It's by Trish McAvoy. They don't make these anymore. I mean, they make Trish McAvoy brushes, but anyway, it's kind of like a chiseled. It's supposed to be some kind of blendy eye thing, but it doesn't really work on the eyes so much. It's too flimsy and it just flicks stuff everywhere. So I'm just <coughs> loading up my brush and uh, just kind of lightly placing it under my eyes. Try not to inhale this stuff. Holy <coughs> powder. Holy yeah. Okay. Um, anyway, the point of this is when I do get fallout, and you will with this look, uh, when I'm all done, I'll just brush it away and maybe do a little touch up, but uh, Anyway, okay. I've already done MAC Paint Pot. Um, I always do that even if I'm going to put a cream shadow over. I feel like it, it helps um, to not crease. If it has, if I'm putting cream shadow on my lids, it helps it to not crease if I already have MAC Paint Pot. So I'm using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean. And I'm just taking it on my ring finger. I'm just going like that, kind of rubbing it. And I should have brought a baby wipe or something with because it's going to be a mess, but you'd want to put this all over your lid. Just kind of pat. Try not to put it too much over the crease. A little isn't horrible, but like I just did. Um, and you kind of want to sh make it shape so it comes out a little bit. This is not, doesn't have to be perfect, and I don't go all the way into the corner. This just makes the darker purpley shadow. Mimi, do not eat the face powder. Sorry. It just makes the um, next color I'm going to put on really show up. A little trick they showed, they taught us in um, teacher school. Okay, this is awkward and you should probably do it with your other finger because now it's all over my face. Um, a trick they taught us in teacher school when they were telling us how to get our classroom set up was that when you line your um, bulletin boards to show off your kids work and stuff to um, do it with black paper because anything put on top of black really pops out so um, I don't know I guess the same would hold true with eyeshadow so yes, this is scary looking. It looks like a big old mess. It is a big old mess. And then I just kind of wipe it out until, or blend it out with my fingers until it's pretty translucent. You don't want this big black blob on your face. This is scary enough. And ideally, it should be even. I say ideally, this is not. And obviously, you all will do a better job of this when you're sitting at your own makeup table. Okay. So, the hard part is over. If you can get through this mess, I just wiped it on my fingers, then the rest of this is very easy. So, first I start with this color right here. This is the lower right color. It's a dark purple with sparkles. And I'm just going to take a flat brush. Flat brush. This is a Sigma 239, I believe. And we're just going to pack that onto the lid. Now, don't swipe this stuff around. Just pat, 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 because... You will get fallout if you swipe it. So I'm just patting. And go up over the crease a little bit. We're going to blend a lot. So don't freak out. That it looks, you know, horrible. And then we're going to take the tip and just sweep 
underneath a little bit. You can go out past your eye. You want to make, especially if you have hooded eyes like, like me, um, which means that when you open your eye, most of the lid is gone. Bring it up over, over that crease a little bit so that you still see some color peeking out. I'm going to do the other eye and then I'll come right back. Okay, so both eyes are done. They're not great, but they're done. The next part is um, this bright purple shade, which is not in the Lust palette, so I apologize. I went through my collection and the color that I found is in the Coastal Scents, the 88 palette, the big one. And if you look dead center where the latch is, not this one, but the one above it, that's the color I'm looking at. And I'm just going to take my, um, I don't know what this is. Who makes you? Elf, the Elf uh, crease brush. And I'm just dipping it in that bright purple color. And I'm going over the crease, I'm the top edge of this, and I'm using this to blend it out. I think this is what I did. This is what she did in her video, so we'll see about this. This might turn into a one hot mess, but I'm still going to post it because I want you to know you only get to see it when it turns out, at least how I think it turns out well. So let's see how it turns out not so well. Really pat this out. I think that's what I just did wrong. Was I did not tap it out enough before I started blending. This is kind of a bluey purple. This is a mess. Oh my gosh. Okay. I will show you how to fix this. So there's that. I know, it looks horrible. Then she take, she took a matte purple shade, which I'm going to use this one. That is in the Lust palette. And she put that on the outer crease. And I'm going to use that same brush. I'm just going to wipe it off a little bit to deepen the outer corner. Although, frankly, how much deeper does this outer corner need to get? It doesn't. So you can skip this step. I'm skipping this. There's no point to this. Okay. Because this is freaking me out, I am going to blend with a big blendy brush a little bit. Actually, a lot. And I'm just, it's clean. And I'm going to go back and forth along that upper edge. I'm going to clean this side up too. I'm going to show you a trick for that. This is just more color than I'm used to seeing on my eye. So it's slightly frightening to me. Okay. Then, referring to my notes, then um, this is the part that I think is really cute. She took a pinky purple color, which is, again, this one right here. And she did the upper outer corners with this. Right about where... Okay, you know what I'm doing wrong? I'm not tapping this out first. And it's just way more color than I anticipated. That's why you have the handy finger blending tool. And the other eye. A good rule of thumb, which I'm not doing, but you should is um, if you're working with dark colors and you're a little afraid about how it's going to end up on your face, when you dip the um, brush into the shadow, t run it back and forth on the back of your hand or on a paper towel or something. You could always add more color. As you can see, it's kind of hard to get rid of it once it's all over your face. Um, so that's that. And I'm going to go back again and blend you out a little more because especially this outer corner and to really clean up this outer corner what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the um, brulee. You can use any um, skin shade matte eyeshadow. This is a great trick and it's almost like a, a eraser. You can, I'm going to blend it around the edges to really clean this up because this is insane. This is way too much eyeshadow for 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, I'm going to be rocking Walmart today. And then I'm taking this big flat, it's like a flat top, 
rectangular shaped um, brush. It's another Trish McAvoy. I really like their brushes. These are really old. Like, uh, I don't know. These could be 15 years old. And I'm just going to go over the top and go back and forth and really blend it out a little more. This, this is a great cleanup brush. I apologize for the sniffles. Not only is it rainy and cold for where I live, but um, and then the heat's on, so that makes everything nuts, but we have what's called cedar season here, and it's not really cedar, it's mountain, it's a juniper, but it everybody's nose is running, even Bosley's eyes are running um, with gook, it's pretty funny. So this has definitely cleaned stuff up. And then the last step that I forgot to do um, is to take a small pencil brush, and she did um, like a, that same bright purple. I just, I think it's too much. I'm going to take this pink color, this matte pink shade, and I'm going to do it in the inner corner just to brighten it up a little bit. Let me just check the mirror. This isn't too horrible. Then the last step, if I can find my eyeliner, is just, I'm using the Prestige Waterproof. Um, I believe it's called uh, EW01 in black. I really like this. Um, I like this brand a lot. Uh, you can get it at Ulta. I can get it at my grocery store. If you live in Texas, you can get it at HEB. Um, they don't test on animals, so that's nice. Just a little added bonus. And um, anyway, I'm just going to smudge this across my lash line and in my waterline and the other eye. Okay, you know what? Let me do the other eye, curl my lashes and put on mascara and I'll come right back. This has got to be so boring. Okay, I'll be right I'm back. So I curled my lashes with my um, Japanese little pocket rocket, no, pocket curler thing. My mom called and told me that she heard these were discontinued or, um, not discontinued, recalled. But, um, she said some girl at Ulta told her that. But I've been searching all the websites and looking for recalls on Japanese products and there was a recall on a Shuramura heated curler or maybe even the Japanese one, but I haven't I couldn't find anything on this one. So if anybody knows any more information, obviously I don't want to keep recommending this if it's hurting people. And then for mascara, I use the Prestige Blackest, what is it? My Blackest Lashes. I've been hearing recommendations for this forever. I do listen to you guys. And um, uh, anyway, I do like it a lot. It reminds me a lot of the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. It's very dark, um, but better for me because I... Um, get it, it transfers all over here whenever I wear the L'Oreal and I have been wearing this for about a week and I'm not having the problem. It is kind of gloopy. It's thick. It's real thick. They have another formula that I can't remember what it's called, um, you know, prestige brand that I do want to try. I think it's a little less gloopy. Uh, so it's a good, it's cheaper than um, CoverGirl. It's six fifty for this. So at least at my grocery store. And that's, a, I think, a pretty good price point. So anyway, Okay, so remember how at the beginning of this, I loaded on the um, powder, so with that same brush, I'm just going to sweep it off, and I think, other than the fact that I am fully aware that this eye goes lower than this eye, which I will fix later, um, I think I'm good with fallout. I don't, I don't think I have any. Now, for lipstick in the video, she used a purple, a uh, very purpley toned lipstick. I don't have a purpley toned lipstick. I think that's one of those things that I'm going to have to look for at a department store because I haven't been able to find one in the drugstore. If you know of one, however, please let me know. Um, there are two ways to go on this. You can do the rose, well, you can do anything you want, but uh, I've tried it with the rose amethyst and then um, the Revlon, this lavender stuff that is called what? Gosh, I can't read it. Lavender... Oh my god, I'm getting old. Look at that. Who could see that? It's white writing on pale lavender petal, lavender pastel, whatever. You know, this thing from Revlon. 
And, um, I mean, really, why can't they make it so people can see it? But what I'm going to do is, um, this was one of my first drugstore purchases when I really started getting into makeup. This was years ago. It was the L'Oreal Rouge Pulp, and it's in Dreamy. See, it's in white, but they made it big and bold so normal people can read it. I'm not farsighted. I don't know. But they don't make it anymore, or at least not in the States. But it definitely is purpley. So what I'm going to do is put this on. It doesn't smell very good, though. It's probably time to get rid of this. Ugh. Yeah, it's time for this to go. It smells a little off. And then I'm going to put this over it, hopefully masking that nasty scent. Alrighty. And there you have it. This is, um, this is as close as I can remember how I did it um, in my best of 2010 video. I do like this look. It's a little more dramatic than I'm used to wearing. My husband loves it. I don't know if I do this every single day. It might be a little much for my daily life, but it's starting to um, grow on me. So maybe I will. I guess we'll see in the next video or so. Um, real quick, I am wearing what I'm going to wear to go out tonight. We're going out with friends again. And um, I'll just stand up real quickly. I don't have my shoes on, but um, this is one of the, this is the Juicy Couture dress I picked up um, in San Francisco on sale. And it has little pockets here. And I'm just wearing my now covered in dog hair leggings from Target. There's a black tank that I have on underneath this. Um, just because this itches a little from Target. And um, I'm wearing my fuzzy slippers. I don't think I'm wearing these out. I don't know what I'm wearing out. If it doesn't stop raining, I'm going to be wearing rain boots when we go out tonight. But um, I am wearing uh, No Miss is the nail polish brand. It's called Isla Morada, I think. Um, this is older than the hills. I found this when I was digging through my collection. And my usual, I'm wearing my black Walmart watch. And these are not going to be the earrings that I wear tonight. But... Um, so I don't know where I got these from. I think I got them at a PTA convention, actually. And my wedding rings, and that's it. So anyway, um, I'm going to stop talking now and say goodbye. Thank you for watching. Thank you for requesting this look. I hope it helped, and I will see you all soon.